Hey guys, Andrew here, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Bluetooth drivers on your Windows 11 PC. Now before I show you how to install this, it's very important for you to know if your computer support or your laptop or your desktop support Bluetooth. So if you know that it supports Bluetooth, then of course by all means you can go ahead and install the Bluetooth driver on your PC. So I'm going to walk you through how to install the latest version or the latest Intel wireless Bluetooth driver here on your PC. So go ahead and open up your browser and you just want to just simply type in the following words Intel Bluetooth, right? Once you start to type in Intel Bluetooth, it's going to basically find it. You just want to hit enter and the most likely first option in the list is going to be from the Intel website and it's going to say Bluetooth driver. You want to click on that. You can basically choose if you want to accept the cookies or not, or you can click it off. Now here, if you scroll down a bit, now at the top here, you will see that it shows the version. So you'll, it will show you the latest version and you can get previous versions if you want, but to get the latest version, you will leave it as is by default. And if you scroll down, you will see where it shows you that you can install the version. Here it says available downloads. You can just simply click on that. It's going to ask you to accept terms. You can accept the terms here and it's going to quickly download for you. Once this download, it's going to go in your downloads folder if that's how you have it set by default. And you want to double click on it. It's going to ask you for your, let's say your account control here or your user account control. You get a little pop-up. Just simply click on yes and it's going to pop up and start to install for you. It will maybe say if you have the same version or if you have the latest version you can do it so you'll see are, are you sure you want to upgrade just simply choose yes click on next and just basically follow the process and allow you to install on your pc so you'll receive multiple pop-ups here you just need to follow it click on yes accept those terms of license click on next and you can leave this as is you just need to go and from here just simply go ahead and choose for example typical and click on install and allow this to install on your computer no this is one way how to install your Bluetooth. I'm going to show you another way how you could also try to install it, or you could also try to install it while this is, now that this is finished, it will be required for you to restart your PC for it to actively work. Another way you could be, you could install this guys is if you right click, for example, in the Windows icon on your taskbar here, and you go to the device manager. Once you're inside the device manager, you could also check where you'd see the section that says Bluetooth, expand it, find your Intel Bluetooth driver. As you can see, it says Intel wireless Bluetooth. You could have just simple right click on that and click, for example, uninstall. And then once you click on install, you can easily go ahead and click an action, scan for hardware changes, and it will basically search for it for you. And then once it scans for the hardware changes and install that driver for you, you could easily go ahead and find a driver, right click on it again, click on update and basically scan the web for the latest and the best driver. That will also do an update of the latest version for you as well. So that's another method of how you can install your Bluetooth driver on your PC. And once you finish install that, you have to restart your PC, you can easily just go ahead and go to your Bluetooth devices. So you can just simply right click again on the Windows icon, go to settings, and on the left hand side, you will find Bluetooth and devices. You can go ahead and you can now add your latest Bluetooth devices, whether that's a mouse, whether that's a keyboard, whether that's a headphone, whatever it might be, you can easily go ahead and add those devices to your computer and start using them wirelessly. And that's it. Very easy and very simple.